हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जीबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई टेल यू व्हाट इज वीड मिमिक्री विद द क्रॉप्स हाउ वीड्स मिमिक विद क्रॉप एंड दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म दैट दे कैन सर्वाइव एंड दे मेंटेन देयर ग्रोथ एंड दे आर स्केप फ्रॉम द वीडिंग सो व्हाट इज मिमिक्री व्हाट इज मिमिक mimicry means or mimic means to behave like others and to pretend and actually it is not a reality it is not a truth but it make a pretend dusre ki nakal banana dusre ki nakal karna that is mimicry so there are several mimicry artist which behave or mimic the other artist similarly uh, some plants mimic the other plants and these plants are weeds which behave like the crop in uh, for example morphology stem shoot flower seed etc so this is called weed mimicry with the crops so this mimic is to pretend to act like other which is not the reality halanki wo aise hai nahi lekin dusre ki tarah wo aisa hi behave karte hain to aise jo process hai that process is called mimicry so here are uh, some weeds names are there this lolelium tamentum agrostema githigo and the seeds of these weeds resemble the wheat seed so this wheat seed or we can say the seeds of these two weeds resemble like wheat seed so they are similar in size shape so this is called seed mimicry because seed uh, looks like wheat seed and they contaminated with the wheat seed and very difficult to separate Similarly, Avena fetchua it mimicry with oat seed. So it mimic with oat seed. So when Avena fetchua wild oat seed is mixed with uh, oat crop seed, then very difficult to separate. And they mix with the seed, and then next season they grow with this crop. Similarly, Comelina sativa they mix with the flax seed. And Rotobelia coche chinensis mix with the a uh, rice seed this is itch grass i t c h itch grass and this is common in upland rice so rice seeds so uh, they are look alike like uh, rice seeds similarly chicorium intibus with the barsim seeds so when these seeds are mixed with the crop then it is very difficult to identify whether it is a wheat seed or whether it is a crop seed तो इस तरह से अगर ये कोमेलिना सेटाइवे का फ्लैक्स में मिल जाए तो बड़ा मुश्किल होता है उसको पहचानना एविना फैचुआ का सीड ओट में मिल जाए देन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई विच इज इट इज एविना फैचुआ और एक्चुअली इट इज ओट क्रॉप और एविना सेटाइवा तो ये बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है इसको आइडेंटिफाई करना बिकॉज सीड्स और शेप साइज इवन इन वेट लाइक ए क्रॉप सीड सो दिस टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर इज कॉल्ड सीड मिमिक्री एंड दे आर मिक्स विद द क्रॉप सीड and then when we grow the crop in next season then they grow with the crop also so it means they maintain their cycle with the crop and such type of weeds are called satellite weed satellite weed so satellite weed uh, behave like uh, this seed mimicry so this is the mechanism they survive and they maintain their growth continuously in the crop so this is the mechanism seed mimicry so this mimicry means uh, some weeds pretend like a crop so this uh, behavior or likeness uh, is with respect to seed maybe with respect to leaf shoot etc so on the basis of this mimicry there are four types of uh, uh, mimicry are there number 1 is seed mimicry the examples are like this then vegetative mimicry or we can say it is a phenotypic mimicry phenotypic phenotype is same phenotype or phenotypic we can say phenotypic mimicry so morphology is same and third one is chronological mimicry and fourth one is biochemical mimicry so 
Weed mimicry is the mechanism by which weeds survive in the crop and difficult to identify them because they resemble like a crop. So difficult to uh, eradicate, to control them, we can say. So control of such type of weed is very difficult. So it, because it is very difficult to identify them, whether it is a crop or it is a weed. So in case of seed mimicry, seed look like shape, size, weight etc and they contaminate the crop so contamination is there and such type of weeds are also called satellite weeds and these are the good example of seed mimicry second one is in case of vegetative mimicry in case of vegetative mimicry shoot leaf stem uh, look like a crop for example phallus minor phallus minor leaf uh, shoot uh, till ring uh, and the growth is like a wheat crop so phallus minor mimic like a wheat similarly uh, Fellis paradoxa, it is another weed uh, which is uh, resemble with the wheat crop. In case of rice, if we look the example of rice, then uh, uh, Echinocloa species are very common. Case of vegetative uh, mimicry. So, Echinocloa, Echinocloa chris gaili. Echinocloa uh, colona and Echinocloa crusgeli crus c r u s g a w l i Echinocloa crusgeli then uh, Oriza sativa Oriza sativa a uh, variety fatua is important one then oriza longestaminita this mimic in case of rice so morphology morphology means leaf shoot etc is resemble with the rice so ye jo echinocloa crusgeli hai ya oriza sativa variety fatua hai inki growth jo hoti hai leaf hota hai shoot hota hai bilkul rice ki tarah hota hai inki vegetative growth bhi bilkul usi ki tarah hoti hai so, इनको पहचानना बड़ा मुश्किल है एंड दे कैन नॉट बी आइडेंटिफाइड एट द अर्ली वेजिटेटिव स्टेज वेजिटेटिव स्टेज एट द फ्लावरिंग स्टेज वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई सो फ्लावरिंग इज फ्लावरिंग इज डिफरेंट व्हाइल वेजिटेटिव ग्रोथ इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द क्रॉप सो दैट्स व्हाई दीस आर कॉल्ड वेजिटेटिव मिमिक्री एंड एट द रिप्रोडक्टिव स्टेज एट द फ्लावरिंग स्टेज एट द एंथेसिस स्टेज वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दिस इज एकाइनोक्लोवा कोलोना इट इज क्रस गेली और इट इज अ राइस क्रॉप सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ व्हीट फेलरस माइनर Phalaris minor, then Phalaris, this P H L R I S, then Phalaris paradoxa. These are important species uh, which resemble with the uh, wheat crop. Gehu mein to Phalaris minor, jisse hum gehu ka mama kehte hain, bilkul gehu ki tarah lagta hai. Early stage mein isko pehchanna bada uh, mushkil hota hai. Then uh, wild oat, Avena fatua, Avena fatua. Uh, these uh, are the uh, important mimicry weed or vegetative mimicry. Similarly, in case of uh, sugarcane, Saccharum spontaneum. Saccharum spontaneum, cast grass or wild cane. In case of sugarcane, it is very uh, difficult to know whether in early stage, whether it is a sugarcane plant or Saccharum spontaneum uh, plant, uh, wild cane. Similarly, sorghum helipens, Johnson grass. Sorghum helipens in sorghum crop. Very difficult to know. So, these uh, weeds are called uh, or have vegetative mimicry. So, in case of seed mimicry, seed size, shape is same. In case of vegetative mimicry, shoot, leaf, shoot, stem is uh, similar or resemble to crop. So, and at early stage, it is very difficult to identify. That's why they are. Uh, Control by hand breeding is very uh, difficult. So to control them in vegetative stage, we use uh, herbicide because her herbicides have selectivity to control the uh, weeds. Uh, so, uh, but uh, in the field, in actual site, it is uh, difficult in early stage to know whether it is a phallus minor or a wheat crop. It is Echinocloa colona or it is a rice crop. It is a um, Saccharum spontaneum or sugar cane plant. So, early stage, we have to use muskil hota hai. So, we have herbicide ko use karte because herbicide ki selectivity hoti hai. In weeds ko kill kar dete hai, crop safe ho jati hai. So, this is called vegetative mimicry or phenotypic mimicry. In case of chronological uh, mimicry. And chronological means chronological means with the time. Such type of weeds mature uh, with the crop. 
harvest time is same height is same so that's why they harvested with the crop so when we go for harvesting these weeds also harvest with the crop for example in chronological felis minor felis minor as chronological mimicry chronological mimicry means uh, the harvest time so harvest time is same height is same so that's why harvesting of both the crop is uh, simultaneously and the seed get mixed with the crop so this is called chronological mimicry means harvesting time is same height is same and harvesting time is same so that's why seed is mixed then fourth one is biochemical uh, mimicry it is uh, uh, different from the seed mimicry vegetative mimicry and chronological mimicry uh, in case of biochemical mimicry what happens actually when we spray herbicide so herbicide have uh, selectivity for example uh, we are uh, spraying isoprotron then isoprotron uh, kill the felis minor and wheat crop is saved similarly if we spray the other herbicide herbicide kill the weeds and crop is saved but if we are using the isoprotron continuously over the period of a time then weeds develop resistance for example felis minor has developed the resistance against the isoprotron so now when we spray the herbicide weeds alter the uh, herbicide molecule so they uh, detoxify the herbicide so they change their biochemical pathway physiological pathway to detoxify herbicide molecule and develop the resistance so they mimic with the crop in detoxifying the herbicide in degradation of herbicide molecule so that's why they are called biochemical mimicry so this is a simple way in another words we are spraying the herbicide crop is there weed is there crop detoxify the herbicide by a biochemical pathway that's why crop is saved but weeds cannot degrade detoxify the herbicide and they are killed so the path which is present in crop biochemical pathway the same pathway is adopted by weeds by changing their biochemical uh, mode or physiological mode and when we spray the herbicide weed is not killed so this is called biochemical uh, mimicry by which weeds develop resistance uh, example is felis minor has developed resistance against isoproton so this is the different type of weed mimicry and in early stage vegetative mimicry is very important and then the weeds uh, grow simultaneously with the crop so early stage mein vegetative mimicry hoti hai to hum pehchan hi nahi pate hain kaun sa felis minor hai uh, gehu mein aur kaun sa ikanoclo hai rice mein kaun sa spontaneum hai uh, ganne ke khet mein to ye pehchanna bada mushkil hota hai aur uske sath wo grow kar jate hain then seed mimicry the seed size shape is same तो उसमें सीड मिक्स हो जाते हैं हमको लगता है गेहूं का सीड है लेकिन एक्चुअली गेहूं का नहीं होता है हमें लगता है राइस का सीड है और राइस का सीड नहीं होता है दे गेट मिक्स्ड एंड व्हेन वी गो फॉर नेक्स्ट सीजन एंड ग्रोइंग ऑफ द क्रॉप दे आल्सो ग्रो विद द क्रॉप सो सच टाइप ऑफ वीट्स आर कार्ड सेटेलाइट वीट सो सीड मेमिक्री इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सेटेलाइट वीट डेवलपमेंट इन केस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल हार्वेस्टिंग टाइम इज सेम सो दे मैच्योर विद द क्रॉप सो वाई द हार्वेस्टिंग टाइम द सीड इज मिक्सड एंड इन केस ऑफ बायोकेमिकल they develop the herbicide resistance mechanism as that occur in crop jo crop ke andar herbicide ko detoxify karne ka mechanism hota hai biochemical pathway hota hai wahi weeds apne andar develop kar lete hain agar same herbicide same mode of action herbicide ko use kiya jaye to biochemical mimicry hoti hai to uh, to overcome the uh, biochemical mimicry we should change the herbicide another type of herbicide which has different type of mode of action similarly to avoid the contamination to uh, to reduce the seed mimicry and in case of vegetative mimicry these weeds can be killed by the uh, selective herbicide so this is the seed, uh, weed mimicry with the crop and this mimicry is helpful to weeds so that weeds survive and they continue their growth and existence with the crop so uh, this mimicry actually is survival mechanism of the weeds with the crop so these are different important uh, mimicry of weeds with the crop Thank you very much.